Hey everyone, so I've gotten a lot of requests on uh, how do I socialize my centipede or I want to handle my centipede, how do I go about doing that? Now first of all, I don't condone handling centipedes at all. Um, you will get envenomated um, eventually. Um, it's pretty much something that will always happen to everybody. Um, so it's your own risk to take. I'm not going to tell anybody to handle centipedes, but the way I do it is uh, I'm very calm with them. Um, I do not show them any aggressiveness, I'm not forceful with them, and I let them choose what they want to do. If they really want to get away, um, then you let them get into their enclosure and get away. Don't force a centipede to do anything. Um, now, as you can see, this centipede is cleaning itself, and uh, a pretty good um, indicator that a centipede has calmed down and is going to be pretty docile with you is if it starts cleaning itself on you and relaxing. And especially if it starts cleaning you, that's a good sign. Um, now, this centipede isn't one that I've handled a whole lot, but I have worked with her a bit over the last few days. I've been uh, attempting to breed her, so I do free handle moving the centipedes from enclosure to enclosure, but that's not something I suggest for anyone else. Um, it's just something I do, but as some people might know, I uh, also have done uh, self-envenomation for quite some time. So, oh, we're out of focus there. So yeah, it's not going to affect me quite the same way that it affects you guys. Um, but anyways, uh, that's just a tidbit on the uh, handling of centipedes. Again, it's not something I condone. It's not something I'm telling you to do, but everybody's going to make their own choices. So with that said, you guys have a wonderful day. And thank you very much for all the support. Hit that like button, subscribe, share this anywhere you can. And we'll see you next time here at Mike's House of a Thousand Lakes.